Hi everyone, we are going to do a reading today and see what is coming through and yeah, um, first of all, I just wanted to mention a lot of people are asking about zodiac sign readings. I really don't do them anymore because when I found I did zodiac sign readings, majority of them would actually resonate with a wider group of people and um, also with my spiritual practices, things started becoming a lot more, um, let's say, in like inclusive, I guess, in many ways where a lot of the readings I would do would actually resonate with more people so that's why i do these readings and i upload twice a day as you all know and it's honestly a miracle at this point that i do <laughs> upload every single day for every single day for the last three to four years which is quite a lot of dedication in itself so i hope you still appreciate that this is happening and i've also i'm in the process of moving homes as well so again it's it's pretty it's a lot of dedication to still be doing all of this um so i just wanted to mention that because um you know it's not that I've become lazy or anything. I genuinely have a lot going on behind the scenes, including all of the services that I help many of you with as well, like the personal readings, intention items, of course, which many of you purchase as well. They have to be made, um, you know, so there's a lot happening and I love what I do, but, um, you know, I have to make sure that I do it in accordance to, of course, what I can manage as well. So I thought I'd just mention that all of the services, everything is always linked down below for your convenience and on my website, but I thought I would just mention that. So this is for all star signs. It's how my channel is. If you don't like it, then you can go watch somebody else's videos. Honestly, that's just how it is, you know? Um, so let's begin. Let's see what's coming through. Um, like I mentioned, all of my official information is in the description box below. There are some random scammers in the comment section sometimes, but as so long as you open up the description box of my video, everything of my official stuff is there, including my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com, and services, things like that. Okay, so let's see. Long introduction, but it had to be done. I apologize. Okay, let's see. Hmm. You know, I saw the moon. I saw the moon and it almost feels like there's this energy here of someone kind of hiding things, hiding things towards you out of frustration, out of anger, out of annoyance. And it's not because you're annoying. It's just because their own life circumstances and situations have become annoying for them. And I feel like there's a person here who has had a lot of love for you still holds a lot of love for you actually and still really does care about you but they've just had so much going on. The Fool here shows sometimes they're very spontaneous, they make decisions in a very random and spontaneous way and you might think to yourself what in the world is going on here? Why are they acting like this? Why are they so sudden? Why are they hot and cold? Deliberate sometimes in how they make you feel and then all of a sudden they act a completely different way, okay? And this energy is shown here by these two very different sixes, right? One is hot, one is a bit cold, one is water, one is fire, one is filled with swords and frustrations and trauma, and the other one here is like, yes, victory, success, let's go get it, right? And that's the thing, is that there's a person here who has been so hot and cold towards you, and you just, for your own life, you can't figure it out. You don't know why and how and what in the world is going on and why it's like this and why also, does it need to be like this? That's something you also wonder internally as well is, does it really need to be like this? Why is it like this? Why do they make me feel like this? It, it just frustrates you. And this person here, I feel, has been telling you some lies. They've been, you know, pretending like their life is perfect. Everything's going swimmingly well no pun intended, swimmingly well, and um, you're just thinking to yourself, oh, well, if they're living this amazing life, why do they still care? For some of you, they look over your social media. Why do they do that? Why do they care, right? If their life is perfect, if they're happy, if they're doing things, why do they still care about you? And the truth here is, okay, is that they lie to you out of their own inner issues, their own anger, their own perceptions. They basically project onto you what they feel inside. And oftentimes people hurt those that they love the most. Not always, but a lot of the times it's true. You know, you take your anger out on those you feel that could understand you, those that you are perhaps closest to, those that, you know, just would take it would absorb it you know and, and that's the thing with this person as well is that they take their anger and frustration out on you which by the way you absolutely do not deserve let me just throw in my own little advice there or well, actually it's an opinion right it's an opinion but you don't deserve it 
to be honest, it's a fact. You really don't deserve to be treated this way. It's 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 a fact, actually. Um, but the main thing here, especially with justice, is the fact that they have their own issues and their own perceptions within themselves and they sometimes feel like they aren't good enough. They feel like they aren't living the kind of standard of life that they want. And then they see you be the strong, amazing person and they feel frustrated. They, in many ways, they feel like you are a stronger person, you're a better person, you're a more um, together person. You've got yourself together, you've got your s-h-i-t together you know what i mean um you know who you are and in many ways they feel frustrated that they don't know who they are they don't know how to express themselves they don't know what to say and how to say it and then they project all of their issues onto you right so when they feel frustrated they act frustrated towards you when they lie to you it's because they don't know the inner truth within themselves when they treat you hot and cold it's because they treat themselves like that right they're hot and cold towards themselves all the time they're confused they're erratic or they're all over the place and that's why they lie to you because they're so confused they are so confused within themselves they are not confused about you repeat after me they are not confused about me Comment that down below. That's your affirmation for this reading. They are not confused about you. They are confused about themselves. And that is why they treat you this way. Deep down, they have love towards you, but it's like a layer, okay? So say, for example, you've got... Let's use some cards as an example. Actually, do you know what? We could even use these cards in the reading. Okay? You've got emotions. This, the, these are their emotions for you. More emotions emotions towards you oh no it's getting too much it's getting too much then this is their like blocker okay i can't feel too much can't feel too much can't feel too much can't feel too much and what happens is that those feelings that they have towards you are now right at the bottom of the pile so when they think about their feelings and thoughts they hit this top layer first which is all their issues but then slowly but surely as they shift through those they can feel those feelings towards you this is like a veil that sits over the top of their feelings they don't access these directly all the time but sometimes when they go a little bit deeper they can feel these feelings towards you and then it comes to the surface and then they push it back down again so basically they do have feelings towards you but they are suppressed like this okay this is basically their ego this um these green cards here and that's basically what's happening we'll take these cards actually i think that would be interesting but um clearly they like to show that they're living a pretty cool life you know just doing whatever that they're all happy and everything's perfect but deep down they are not happy deep down things are not perfect they compare people to you because they recognize and realize that there's not very many kind people like you out there. You know, Seven of Cups, they do think about you. They do even dream about you. They think about what life could be like with you. They think about what they are potentially missing out on in life. Um, we also have here as well the chariot, right? So will they come towards you? Yes. Do they treat you nice? No. So let them work towards you. Let them put in that effort, okay? They're not confused about you. They're confused about themselves. And when they become less confused about themselves and much more aligned to themselves, they will be much more aligned towards you because they have a habit of projecting onto you, okay? That's why they, they lie to you and say things like, I don't like you, I don't care about you, I don't want you. When actually they're saying that to themselves, they're saying that they don't want themselves. They don't like themselves. They don't know, you know, they, they basically whatever's going on within themselves, they project onto you. Okay, King of Cups. They do feel like you are a very mature person, okay? And yes, they do access those feelings from time to time, like I showed you here in the little demo example. Eight of Swords, they feel trapped. They don't know what to do sometimes. And sometimes they access their feelings, sometimes they don't. Got here the Seven of Cups again. See, they do think about you. You're not out of sight or out of mind at all. There you go, another card, Seven. Reflection, okay? So reflection, reflection, reflection. And clearly, okay, no matter where you are in the situation, they do think about you because look, oh, no way. Look at this. All four of these cards from this deck are about reflection, okay? They think about you. They think about you more than you might think they do, but they absolutely think about you and they know that their behavior towards you has been not good, but they are so... Um, they're so, what's the word? They're so, well, uh, they're so blinded by their own issues that they can't see your issues. No, sorry, not your issues, but they can't see your life. They can't see what you are going through. Yeah, the issues as in what's going on in your life. They, they just don't see it because they're so blinded by what's happening with themselves. 
does that mean you would just have to be treated this way no you don't because look they're gonna come back okay I didn't love myself right did it's that's exactly what I mentioned that is literally exactly what I mentioned um, I have vulnerability and insecurities with you they don't like being vulnerable which is why they show themselves to be like strong and powerful and ego and you know but yeah that's what we have here so this is your reading this is why they act this way to you um, and that's what we have so I really hope this reading helps you gives you lots of clarity information knowledge you know and all the information is always down below you know if you want a private reading with me um, any of the services black magic energy removal healing work prayers and so much more there's gosh there's so much on there and um, healing work prayers intention items and I'll see you all very soon I have TikTok and Instagram actually if anyone wants to follow me on there feel free to do so links are down below I'll see you soon bye